All right, Cappies, let's see what messages we have for you for January 2020. Yes, 2020, guys. I'm super thrilled for you guys. Let's see what we get, all right? So these messages are general messages. They won't resonate with every single Capricorn. However, if they do resonate, great. The message was for you. If it doesn't resonate, guys, check your moon and your rising signs. Your message could be there. All right, so this is going to be for my Cappies for 2020, January 2020. And let's go. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We got some jumpers. We got a few jumpers. Well, I'm going to turn them this way so y'all can see them. Capricorns. Capricorns. Okay, well. Okay, so. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have sacrifice. Okay, we have sacrifice. Which is the hangman, okay? So this is like things being in the air or there is something that is on hold, okay? Um, I'm getting like waiting for some type of reaction. We got the seven, of the stand your ground. I'm getting like waiting on some type of reaction is what I'm getting here. With wisdom, there could be a Taurus involved. With intuition, there could be a Pisces involved. Um... But the first card that we have is wisdom. Okay, so this is the Hierophant in their traditional tarot. And this is all about morals and standards and doing things in a traditional form. Okay, this is also a marriage card as well. Okay, with the discontent and boredom, this is saying that someone does not want to or isn't interested in doing things traditionally. Okay. And someone, someone is picking up that someone is getting tired of being alone or being feeling alone or single. Okay, so let's look at the challenges here. What is the challenge for Capricorn for January? Challenge for Capricorns for January 2020, please. Thank you, God. We got release, five of earth, and a page of water. I'm picking up immediately, like, there's lots of people. Okay, so with release, we have the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. There's time, it's a time to release something that no longer is serving you. Some type of conflict that you've been possibly holding on to, it's time to let it go. All right, so five of earth, you know, there's fear surrounding money, okay? The wisdom to accept and help others are uncertain about self-employment or something Feelings of feeling left out. Okay, so this is the second time that this card came out for you guys. And I'm starting to pick up that maybe some of you guys feel like left out in a situation. Or you don't have enough or you don't feel like you're enough in a situation. Okay, we got the page of water. Pisces is energy. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Um, but this is nonetheless communication. Okay. So there's something that needs to be released in order for something new to come in and start. Um, in the middle of the reading, I definitely do see that there is more than like, I'm just picking up like a lack is I feel like you feel like you lack something is what I'm picking up. Okay. What do Capricorns need to release? What do Capricorns need to release?
Okay. We got the temperance card. This is about healing and balance, okay? Some type of balance. I'm getting like, um, when I see temperance, a lot of times I think about being calm and I pick up like, you know, what do people use to keep them soothed, to keep them balanced? Um, why is temperance here? The tower, Scorpio's energy. Oh, there's a breakup. Okay, so what I'm picking up here, I'm picking up that there is some very, um, a very important relationship that went left. Okay. We got the lovers and the three of swords, most definitely indicating a separation, um, a breakup, a falling out. Okay, so there's something, you need to release that, okay? You need to do some healing. Um, and let's see, I wanna see why the tower is here. So this, this whole thing crumbled and fell apart. Why is the tower card here? Nine of Wands. This is tearing things down to rebuild, okay? Yes, you gotta let it go. Six of Swords, there's something that you, you have to let this go. This pain that you're holding on from this situation that happened from the past, okay? The way you view it, the way you're, you feel about it, you have to let that go. Okay, so with the feelings of feeling like rejected or left out in the cold, this is a mind thing, okay? It's something that you have a view, an idea that you have stuck in your head that is a mental, um, and it's keeping you mentally trapped, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, disappointment, look. You, the way you guys are viewing something is is keeping you um, boggled and making you feel that you aren't enough, you don't have enough, but there's so much disappointment here. And it's something that you're stuck on that you need to let go of. Yes, three of swords again. You scared that you may get hurt. You need to let that let that energy go now. All right. So we have the page of water. So nonetheless, this is communication. Okay. This is fresh new energy. Ten of Pentacles. All right. Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Okay, so a lot of you guys are going to be starting fresh. Some of you guys are going to be starting new jobs. Some of you guys are going to be getting raises. Some of you guys are going to get into a relationship that is long-term and fulfilling and good for you financially. Why is the fool here? I feel like there's a new beginning here, a new start, okay? You guys are going to be taking some type of new leap, turning a new leaf. And I feel like you guys are trying your hardest to get out of this uh, way of thinking from the past, okay? There's something that you're viewing that is very a negative view. Like, you're looking at it in, a, in the most negative way possible. If you change the way that you view it, it'll change everything, okay? So, I feel like communication is... Um, definitely key. I feel like you guys are possibly going to be doing a little bit of flirting, lovey-dovey romantic messages coming up. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys, if you guys are dealing with a financial situation, your financial situation is getting ready to change. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's new opportunities in regards to finances, stability, um, in regards to career. And like I said, a lot of you guys could be getting raises at your job.
All right, so that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. All right, so let's look into love. Let's look into love. Let's see what love messages we have. Some of you guys are on a search for true love, okay? You're looking for your soulmate. You're looking for your match. You're looking for your twin flame. You're looking for someone that you can trust, okay? You may find, may have found someone that you think could be the one, but someone here has control issues that they need to let go of, okay? A lot of you guys are, you know, calling in your soulmate. You're looking for a soulmate. Okay, so let's see. What message is there for Capricorns, January 2020, please? What message is there for Capricorns, January 2020? All right, so we got unrequited love, okay? So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. Um, I feel like you guys know what you deserve. You're putting yourself first, okay? And you're keeping an open mind. You may even be keeping your options open. Um, it's just, for, you know, you may feel like, you know, the chemistry isn't really there or the attraction isn't there. You could be, you know, talking to someone, having relations, you know, some of some sort with someone. And you may just feel like, you know, I don't think that this is, you know, exactly what it is that I'm looking for type energy. All right. Give me another message for Capricorns, please. All right. We got a honeymoon. Okay. So this person could be, you could be dealing with someone that's at a distance. For some of you guys, I see some type of engagement as well. For some of you guys, this could be an engagement. We got engagement at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be getting engaged, okay? A lot of you guys were using visualization, print, been praying um, to bring you closer to your mate. And some of you guys are, you know, either proposing or getting proposed to. All right, give me one more card for a Capricorn. All right, we got passion. All right, so lots of love coming, you know, lots of lovey-dovey little stuff coming in. But I feel like uh, for a lot of you guys, it's with someone new. Because I feel like you guys are trying to release an ex and do something new and fresh and new. Okay, so I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, okay, you may feel, you know, as the chemistry is the same with someone. This person could be at a distance. And some of you guys could be... Um, romancing with a new partner for some of you guys the chemistry with someone that you um, have you know recently met could be an online thing they could be at a distance from you um, but you know for some of you guys you could be having getting ready to you know enjoy some alone time with them however the case may be I feel like a lot of you guys you know Know exactly what it is that you want and you're going after what it is that you want to love. So most definitely big ups, big ups to Cat Peace. All right, so let's get some advice from the angels and I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm also picking up too, like some of you guys didn't have a chemistry with someone so you decide to move on to someone new that's another scenario as well okay let's see what message we have easy does it your health happiness and abundance requires a gentle approach to life and work okay so this is saying you know don't be so hard on yourself okay it could be taking a toll on your health, your happiness, your abundance. Okay, so be gentle. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Let me get one more message for Capricorns, please. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. Okay? Spiritual protection as well. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. All right, Cappies, I hope these messages were helpful for you. If they were, great. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. 
And don't forget to let me know what's going on in the conversation below, okay? All right, my loves. Ciao. Until next time.